Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Asdot, and in today's video, I am giving y'all my Jalen Brunson build on NBA 2K24. If y'all know, I'm a Knicks fan. Jalen Brunson is slowly becoming one of my favorite players of all time. My top three players of all time is LeBron, Carmelo Anthony, and Russell Westbrook. But I ain't gonna lie, Jalen Brunson is sneaking up in there, man. A lot of people was bashing the Knicks for picking him up. But I had a feeling like, yo, when I was watching that Western Conference Finals with Jalen Brunson, he was actually like going nuts. So the fact that he came to the Knicks and basically like became that star player, this was like the perfect fit for him. So I really like this pickup for the Knicks. Once again, one of my favorite players to ever play the game of basketball. Hopefully he can retire a Knicks. Hopefully he can win a chip with the Knicks. That would be very big for us. But with that being said, first name, last name, Jalen Brunson, hand in this left. Jersey number 11 if you want to be spot on. Now I'm going to be honest with y'all. I have only one build on this channel that I don't have gameplay for and that's my Tyrese Maxi build. But I have a boy who made that build and he's actually going crazy. And that's going to be the case with this Jalen Brunson build. I haven't upgraded it yet. I haven't played with it yet. I just want to put this out there for y'all because I know that whatever I make, it's going to be fire. It's going to be the best type build in the game. So if you're looking for a Jalen Brunson build, I got you covered. If you want it to be spot on, this is the right place to be. So first things first, you want to go ahead and make the player a point guard. Jalen Brunson is 6'2". Now I need you guys to listen up. Jalen Brunson is 6'2", and he weighs 190, and his wingspan is 6'4". But for this video, we're going to stay 6'2", that's his height, but we're going to put the weight up to 220. We're going to max it out because it doesn't affect any of his attributes in terms of like, oh, that attribute's too low because we put the weight up too high, like we can't get a certain speed. No, it's only 6'2", he's gonna be fast regardless. And that's the same for the wingspan. Like, 6'4", you still get a 98, three-pointer, 99 mid-range shot. We're not gonna put it that high. So you can go 6'11", you can max it out. But if you want it to be spot on, the highest you can go for this build video is 6'9". So if you wanna go ahead and put a 6'9", feel free to. Now the reason why I'm putting the weight up is because you know Jalen Brunson, is kind of, he kinda of got that stocky build, he's big, he's built. 190, they might not give you that body type. So it's best to just go max that max weight. So maybe they'll give you burly or something, you know? You walk around looking like a big 6'2", dude, like nobody could guard you, nobody's holding you. But so for this video, if you wanna do his real wingspan, his real wingspan is 6'4", but for this video, and his real weight is 190, but we're gonna do 220 and 6'9 wingspan for Jalen Brunson. So first things first, the close shot, we're going to go ahead and put that at an 82. You can go 81, but we're just going to go 82. I believe we had extra attributes that we just placed on there. And for the driving layup, we're going to go ahead and 91. And my explanation for this is because I've watched a lot of Knicks games this season. I've been to a couple of Knicks games this season. Like I said, Jalen Brunson is one of my favorite players. I know him very well. Not personally, but I know his game very well. He can finish around the rim. Whether if it's a tear dropper, a layup, he's going to charge at you. He's running to the rim, and he's going to lay that ball up with his left hand right hand it doesn't matter he's gonna get a bucket around the rim he, he sometimes drop steps he does a lot of things around the rim so putting this close shot at an 82 and the driving layup at a 91 is very fair it's that's very fair because with a 91 you can get a lot of layup badges as y'all see on the right hand side you get bunny float game float game is perfect for this build acrobat giant slayer i'm not saying he's like a Kyrie Irving finesse guy type of player but when he's running to the rim he's laying that ball up with ease it doesn't matter how big you are and it doesn't matter how small he is he's like that post control we're going to go ahead and put the post control at a 75 if you guys know his post game is very underrated if he's in the post and the shot clock's running down he's fading and that's going in if he's in the paint he's leaning back i don't know if that counts as a close shot but with the post control that will help you out a lot because you get post fade phenom you get stuff like post spin technician you get certain badges that will really help your post game out a lot which is very underrated about Jalen Brunson's game. A lot of people don't notice it. A lot of people don't even watch Knicks games. A lot of people are just going based off of hype and stats. No, you got to watch the game. Jalen Brunson was, he deserved to be an all-star. He really deserved to be an all-star. Shout out to Jalen Brunson. For the mid-range shot, we're going to go ahead and put that at a 93. For this wingspan, this is going to be the max you can go on the mid-range. And that's perfect because it's like, you don't have T-Rex arms. I know Jalen Brunson, he has T-Rex arms. But at the same time, this is 2K. Yes, you want to be realistic, so we're matching the attributes, but you want to make sure you're not a liability on the floor at the same time. You want to have fun. That's all. That's what it's about at the end of the day. As long as you can do what Jalen Brunson can do, that's all that matters. I got y'all covered. So the mid-range, we're going to go at 93. 93, that's that, the highest badge you can get with a 93 is Hall of Fame catch and shoot. If you don't want that, you can go 92. 
a 92 is what gets you Hall of Fame mini magician. If you guys know Jalen Brunson, his mid-range game is insane. He can shoot from any side on the floor in terms of mid-range jump shots. Like I said, he can. His post game is very underrated. Post fades, he does a lot. Pull-ups, his post game, his mid-range game is very, very deep. Like that, his bag is deep in terms of scoring the basketball. So we're gonna go with a 93 midi. For the three-pointer, we're gonna go ahead and put that at an 86. I think 86 is like the perfect cutoff because that gets you agent threes on silver. You get limitless range. You get a good amount of badges with uh, 86 three-pointer. And it's close to 90, you know, your green window is gonna be a little bigger. You shoot with the meter off, you're gonna be shooting like, like with a 90 three-pointer. You get a takeover, you're gonna have like a 96 three-pointer. So this is like the perfect cutoff to have. So that way you can still put your attributes elsewhere. You know what I'm saying? For the free throw, we're gonna go ahead and put that at a 90. If you want to make it higher, you can. You just would have to lower some attributes later down the line. Free throws is like, those points are very cheap. So it doesn't really matter what you do. But we're gonna put it at a 90 for the sake of this video. Now let's drop down to the playmaking. The pass accuracy, we're gonna put that at a 75. Now we know Jalen Brunson is not like the greatest passer. He's not like Tyrese Halliburton in terms of passing. He's known for his scoring, but if there's a game he needs to give you 10 assists, he will get you 10 assists. And 75 pass accuracy is very fair. Because if you're if you're gonna mostly be scoring, then what's the point of having like a 90 pass accuracy, you know? But if you wanna pass, a 75 pass is like really like the, the perfect minimum, if that makes sense. What I mean by that is like, if there's the lowest you wanna go for a pass accuracy, it's gonna be 75. 69, I always tell y'all 69 is like, oh, that's like the best for the badges because you get special delivery. Like if you're a big, you don't want to put a high pass or you're a scoring small forward. And you can still throw lobs out of the post. You can still throw like fast breaks because you get break starter on bronze. But 75 is the perfect cutoff because you get dimer silver, you get special delivery silver, you get break starter silver. Like your badges start going up. So and you're, you're gonna be you're not gonna really throw as much turnovers if you're throwing outlets, you're throwing like cross court passes, and the passing isn't gonna be too slow. But for this pass accuracy, you want to make sure you keep the pass style on none. You don't want to put on fundamental. Fundamental is going to slow everything down. Do not throw on fundamental pass accuracy. Now for the ball handle, we're going to go ahead and give our guy Jalen Brunson an 88 ball handle. Jalen Brunson can dribble the ball very well. Once again, like I said, he's not no Kyrie Irving finesse god in terms of laying the ball up. He's not no Kyrie Irving fancy dribble moves. But that doesn't mean, that's not taken away from his game. Just as Kyrie Irving can do circus layups, Jalen Brunson can just do a tear drop or a charge at the rim. Two is two points. They can both get buckets. I'm not comparing him to Kyrie. I'm just saying, like, for example, if you guys think these attributes are low or too high, they are set perfectly. Now, with the speed with ball, we're going to go ahead and put that at an 83. 83, that gets you hyperdrive. You get speed booster. You get a good amount of badges. Blow by. 83 is a really good cutoff for this build right here. Now, with the perimeter defense, we're going to go ahead and put that at a 76. People say Jalen Brunson is a defensive liability, so I think 76 is very fair. It's not like dragging it like, oh, giving you an 85 perimeter D, you get clamped silver. No, 76 is a good cutoff because you get clamps on bronze. So once we up the strength, you'll see it, but we get clamps on bronze. You get a good amount of badges, challenger bronze. It's not like you're like a huge liability. He's not a huge liability. Everybody can get stops here and there. You know, if you guys run a zone or you guys play man, you can still get your stops here and there. It's not like you're just gonna get abused every time, which is perfect. Now for the steal, we're gonna go ahead and put that at 60. So that way you can get interceptor on bronze. You know, if you, you wanna catch a cross court like pass or something, you just, you can read, you can read plays, you know, 60 is like a really good steal for like the bare minimum so that way you can at least get a steal badge you know like in real life it's common sense nobody has badges or nothing in real life like if you see the ball coming to you you want to be able to steal it if you have no steal you might not be able to steal the ball as well now with the offensive rebound and the defensive rebound you can go ahead and max out not max out but put the offensive rebound to a 58 and put the defensive rebound at a 60 that gets you rebound chaser on bronze you know Jalen brunson sometimes he finishes games with like four or five rebounds six rebounds you know you don't want to be a liability like you don't want to just have the ball miss like somebody shoot a jump shot miss and the ball's right in front of you you can't grab it 60 rebound is really good especially for a 6-2 build now for the speed we're going to go ahead and drop down to an 85 the acceleration we're going to put that to an 80. now the reason why it's only at an 80 is because with the strength we're going to bring that to a 73. 
with that strength that gets you fearless finisher on gold that gets you physical handles on gold and like i said jalen brunson he will attack the basket like he's a bigger he has a bigger build for a 6'2 guy so physical handles will really help this build out a lot and with the vertical you can drop that down to a 55 as low as you can go because the speed is at 85 so the lowest you can go in the vertical is a 55 and the stamina you just want to go ahead and max that out to a 95 and this is my Jalen Brunson build right here guys if you guys have any questions or anything down below feel free to ask me man and if you want to tweak this build go ahead if you think certain attributes are lower i won't lie i maybe i could have gotten the ball handle a little higher in terms of 2k you know like 92 is where you get like all the dribble moves and all that stuff cool but in terms of like jalen brunson you want to be able to score in terms of shooting mid-range jump shots from anywhere like any mid-range whether if it's a post fade pull up standing you want to shoot threes whether if it's a moving shot a standing shot catch and shoot off the dribble whatever it is you want to attack the basket, do tear droppers, driving layups. You got that. The ball handle ain't even that low. I know you don't get all the dribble moves in the game, but an 88 is what you need. The defense, people call them a defensive liability. But even if this, this defense is low, this is still the bare minimum to get you the good amount of badges you need in the game. And for the physicals, the physicals are set perfect. The speed is an 85, acceleration is an 80. The badges you get are pretty solid because all the badges you get are at least on silver. Now, fast feet, it's not going to be that high because, like, the defense isn't that high. That's a defensive badge. But for all of the offensive badges, you are set. The strength, you can hold your own. You got that weight for a reason, you know. You don't want to just have all that, that burliness for nothing. 73 strength is what you need. 55 vertical, you, you can't dunk the ball. Jalen Brunson barely dunks the ball. He probably dunks the ball, like, here and there. And when he dunks, we win. But... It's a very light dunk. And the stamina 95, that's pretty self-explanatory. And with that being said, y'all, make sure y'all comment down below what y'all want to see next, man. And comment down below if you guys think Jalen Brunson deserves to be an all-star. If y'all see right here, Trey Young, a lot of people are saying Trey Young deserves to be an all-star. I don't think Trey Young deserved it over Jalen Brunson. But if there's one person that got snubbed, you can maybe say Trey Young, but I won't lie this year. They did reward winning. So you can't disagree with that but with that being said shot creating three level score and this is my Jalen Brunson build man 